Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to make Venn diagram and also we are learning uh, the compare and contrast essay organization. First of all, we are going to learn about the Venn diagram which is a visual tool used to compare and contrast two or more objects but mostly we are going to deal with two uh, subjects, concepts or people, it depends on the topic that we are dealing with and it's a great tool for brainstorming and creating comparisons between uh, our, the topics that we compare and contrast between. So to create a Venn diagram, we first draw uh, two usually large overlapping circles then we give each circle a name inside the overlapping area we write the common traits that two subjects have outside the overlapping areas we write specific traits of each subject let's now create a, a venn diagram uh, to compare and contrast between a butterfly and a moth First of all, we will start in the overlapping area and we will mention the similarities between butterfly and moth. First, both of them are insects. They both have three pairs of legs and they both have three body parts, head and thorax and abdomen. Then we start with the differences. Uh, first, the things that are special about a butterfly but is not available uh, in a moth. First, butterflies are diurnal creatures which means they are active during the day. A butterfly usually has brighter colors. Usually a butterfly rests with wings up and usually also butterflies have thin bodies. On the other hand we have moths. They are nocturnal creatures which means they are active during the night and they usually have duller colors. They rest with wings flat and they they have thick bodies. Now that we have a complete Venn diagram, it's very very important to brainstorm your ideas before you write using either a Venn diagram or any other method that you feel comfortable with. After you organize your ideas and you are done with the brainstorming, you can move to writing your essay following this organization. In comparison and contrast essay, we have first an introduction and at least two body paragraphs and a conclusion. In this structure, it's a must to have two body paragraphs unlike the other types of essay that can have three as a minimum. In this type, you have four as a minimum. In the introduction, we have a hook, background information thesis statement. In the hook, we present the subject that is to be compared or contrast. Then we provide general overview to the compared or contrast subject. In the thesis statement, we shed light on the comparison and contrast itself. In the body paragraph you have as a writer you have two choices to organize your body paragraphs. The first method is point by point and the second one is the block method. In the first one point by point method we have two body paragraphs. Each body paragraph presents one main point to be compared and or contrast. Each paragraph starts with topic sentence that states the point of comparison or contrast and the supporting sentences provide two or three examples for example if i want to write a body paragraph about butterfly and moth i'm going to use the following structure in the first body paragraph i will talk about the aspect of time of their activity first in this paragraph, I will discuss how butterflies are diurnal creatures and they are active during the day. And then I will move to discuss in detail how moths are nocturnal creatures with providing examples and details and information related to these two ideas. In the second body paragraph, I can discuss the colors of these two creatures. First, I will discuss how butterflies are colorful and maybe I can mention the popular colors that usually butterflies have and then I move to moth and show how their colors are duller compared to butterflies and what colors that they usually have. So each point of the comparison I can use a separate paragraph for it. In the second way of organizing body which is the block method we also have two body paragraphs. Each body paragraph has a clear topic sentence. One body paragraph is devoted to similarities 
and the other one for differences. So if I want to organize information about butterfly and moth also using block method, in the first paragraph I will discuss the butterfly only and in the second paragraph I will discuss the moth only. In the conclusion you summarize the differences and similarities in different words and you also state your own feeling about the topic.